A desperate plea this evening to sell, save rather, the last dog on cell block C. The Gwinnett County Jail is closing its Operation Second Chance program tomorrow, and Teen is the only dog left. Yeah, the program has saved the lives of 1,300 dogs and cats over the years, and Caitlin Ross tells us tonight that they're hoping to save just one more. Teen knows how to find a treat. And he can always find a friend. He loves everybody. He goes, no person goes unlicked. What he can't find. That's my boy. Is his freedom. Yes, Teen's my baby. Teen is the last dog on cell block C. <laughs> the Gwinnett County Jail Dogs program closing down December 15th. <laughs> Volunteer Lori Cronin says Teen is the last dog left in the jail unit that has saved the lives of so many animals over the years and so many incarcerated men. We have the lowest recidivism in the jail in our unit. So it, they don't come back. We're able to find them programs where they're finding their way. Keeping people out of prison saves taxpayers millions of dollars, but programs like this are getting harder to find. It felt like deja vu for sure um, when I heard the news about the Gwinnett program. Come on. Good boy. The Fulton County Jail ended the canine cellmates program in January of this year. To be shutting down rehabilitative programs for men in this time when we're dealing with so much overcrowding and so many people sitting in, in jails for extended periods of time is just, it's a, it's a deplorable kind of a thing. Down. There you go. Come on. Founder Susan Chamber Meadows says it's a loss for the men and the animals in Georgia. We're also doing this at a time when we are in the worst animal welfare environment that we've been in over 10 years. Sit. She believes programs that teach prisoners how to have empathy and responsibility for animals are smart investment. These men are going to go back to their communities. They're going to go back to your communities. Don't we want them to come home with more skills and more knowledge, with the feelings of empathy toward other living beings? Come on. Susan and Lori working together now to find a way forward for the animals and the inmates who so deeply care for them. Not once did they say, what's going to happen to me? What's going on? It's always like, please take care of the dogs. But they all said how this has basically saved their lives. They want to find a way to save teen's life. Good job, T. For teen to find freedom. Ugh. Yeah, they really want to get teen adopted into a loving forever family by the time that program closes December 15th. Yes, that is tomorrow. So if you want to adopt teen, we put the application for second chance on our website, 11alive.com.